Mini Minerva. Providing enrichment and inquiry in a rapidly changing world. My name is Storm Greenwood and I'm a singer songwriter. So I'll call you a candle, you make me cry. Your voice on the end of the phone is my favorite love. Of Storm Greenwood is a singer, songwriter, and professional researcher. She has released three albums so far of her own original music and has also written music for films. As well as singing, she can play the piano, the guitar and the ukulele. Storm is also a researcher at the University of Roehampton. She researches in a special way by creating pieces of art about famous women of colour. Instead of writing, she paints beautiful pictures, stitches and creates pieces of drama. Because her work does not just rely on being able to read, her work is accessible to lots of people to interpret in their own way. When did you start writing songs? I started writing songs when I was about eight. Um, the first song I ever wrote that I can remember uh, was about seeing some badgers <laughs> on a walk in the fields. They grew up in the countryside. Um, and for a few years I wrote quite a lot of songs about nature and the things that I saw around me. When did you first start learning to play instruments? And in my early teens I got my first guitar and I taught myself some simple chords. Um, a chord is when you play different notes together on an instrument. You can play chords that sound really happy. Or you can play chords that sound more reflective. Um, and that's really when I started songwriting in earnest and writing about my emotions and my experiences and my friendships and relationships. Um, and yeah, a few years after that I recorded my first EP, which is like a small album. Um, and my first EP was called The Wilderness and it was kind of the four best songs I've written at that time. Um, we will now listen to one of the tracks from The Wilderness called Tall Trees and Firelight. Think about how the music makes you feel and what it makes you think of. Smoke in my hair, I miss them. No looks under hills and Stars and sun.
Um, and one of the songs from that album ended up getting picked up for a short film on YouTube, which has now had, I think, something like 4 million views. <laughs> so that was amazing. Um, and I had another song that I wrote about a film that I really liked, and I sent the song to the Facebook page of the director of the film, and amazingly they got back to me and said, I really love this, and I want to commission you to write the end credit song for my next film. So I got to write this end credit song for a film and I got to go to LA and um, go to the premiere and sit on um, sit in the Directors Guild of America on Sunset Boulevard and hear me and my ukulele <laughs> <laughs> plinking a little tune. So that was, yeah, an insane experience. Then last year I actually released my first full length album which was a 12 track album um, and yeah, I wrote all of the songs myself and then I went into a studio to record them. Songs are often recorded in a studio where it is very quiet. Special materials are put on the wall to keep all of the sound in. Some people record their songs at home on their computers. Um, and yeah, it's really exciting having a whole full length album in the world now. Love is love, but it's not enough with you. What skills are important for a singer-songwriter? Um, but I think that one of the main ones is actually kind of getting out of your own way and silencing that kind of inner critic and letting, you know, the music and the words kind of flow from you. And, you know, not everything you write is going to be fantastic. You have to kind of get used to you know, writing things and then just thinking, actually, I don't really want to do anything with that. And then, you know, the next song you write, suddenly you think, yes, I love it. And I want to share this one with people. Um, and I think, yeah, just really taking your time to, um, to learn the craft and be kind to yourself in the process of learning it. Where do you get inspiration for your songs? And kind of taking inspiration from anywhere that seems interesting, because, you know, I think when people think about singer songwriters, they often think about people writing very much as if they were writing in their diary and it's kind of very personal and confessional which is a great way of writing and it's how I write a lot of the time um, but it's not necessary you can also write about characters in books or films or stories that you've made up in your own head um, you know you can really write about anything and everything um, do you need to play an instrument to be a singer songwriter um, and I do think it can be useful to play an instrument I definitely feel like my songwriting became better once I had a guitar to write with. Um, so if you can pick up a guitar, a ukulele, a keyboard, <laughs> anything really that you can sing along with, um, I think just learning even a few simple chords um, is really great. And similarly, I think knowing how to kind of care for your voice is really important. And the great thing now is that there are so many YouTube videos <laughs> about how to sing and how to, you know, warm up your voice before you practice, um, how to, you know, play simple chords on the guitar and the piano and the ukulele and all of those things. So I think we have amazing resources now to be able to um, hone those kinds of skills. How do you start to write a song? When it comes to starting songwriting, I think it kind of goes back to my previous point about silencing the inner critic and just letting the words and the music come out and, and seeing what happens. Um, and, you know, some people approach songwriting by writing the melody first and then writing the words. Some people write the words first and then find a melody that fits with that. For me personally, I tend to find that both come at the same time, but I think it's something that really depends and different people have different approaches. Um, How can you structure your songs? Um, I think it's really important to kind of listen to a lot of music and work out what kind of music you like and what you might be interested in singing and what you might be interested in writing. Um, if you kind of have a sense of 
the people who you know inspire you you can have a look at their songs and see what kinds of chords they play on the guitar for example or um, you know whether they tend to be kind of happier more upbeat songs or kind of mellow minor key songs um, and it's also useful in terms of getting to know the basic structure of a song. Um, most Western sort of pop music uh, and contemporary folk follows a kind of verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. Um, and that is meddled around with and it can be really fun to try out different styles and ways of doing things. Um, but I think knowing that basic structure can also be really helpful. To end, we will listen to one more song from Storm's album. We're so fragile and alone. Let me run with you and in your mind. Cause you know me and I. grateful to Storm for talking to us. Think that you can be a songwriter? Check out the Bright Idea Projects that you could try yourself.